Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be, okay, a reading for whatever sign comes out. And we have Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. So don't know what's happening with y'all three, but we shall see. Let's figure this out. Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. Do I know Aries? I got Virgo friends and I'm a Pisces, so. Let's see what's happening. Okay, we're going to knock this over because um, the ferret card, that's uh, the ferrets are, they find stuff. So things that are lost, but we going to shuffle this thing right, okay? All cards have been shuffled, but I don't like when cards just automatically come straight out. Um, it is all right to be alone. Okay. Let's see what else. Virgo. Okay. Communication. Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. Um, deep, dark sea mermaid. Find solutions in unknown places, Aries. So, oh, okay. Little wolf girl. It is all right to be alone, Virgo. Okay, so wolf, wolves could be your spirit animal. Um, you might want to look up what wolves are. Deep, dark sea mermaid. So mermaid could be your spirit animal. Aries, find something and un find solutions in unknown places in the darkness. Okay, and then Pisces, mermaid and a koi pond. So Pisces and Aries both have mermaid energy happening, and Virgo has wolf energy and ferret again because that's what i said from the beginning ferrets are here i am reborn the black cat lost magic atonement and uh rebalance reconsider your alliances make new con make new connections so i am reborn meaning i'm something new lost magic atonement and and I'm getting somebody is definitely tapping into some energies that they either haven't used or never even knew they had. Um, reconsider your alliances and make new connections. So watch out for some sneaky behavior from some friends that are happening. And what's lost is now found because ferrets, again, find stuff. And that's giving me something old past life energy. Um you inspire trust and confidence and you will not let fear stop you this time. So heavy on the past life situations and connections, but something about a connection needs to be reconsidered. Um, spirit, give me some energy, Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. And I'm getting a separation. Keys on a ring, many options, decisions, um, unconventional, stringing along in a one-night stand. Okay. Okay, all right. So someone could have had a one-night stand within this group, Virgo, Aries, Pisces. We also have the runner and a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to your ego. Um, okay. And then we have... I like you and I love you, okay? So, um, I don't know why I'm getting unrequited love. Somebody likes somebody more than somebody else likes them. Um, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanted to date. Then there's a runner, a codependent relationship. So, somebody's running from a soul connection, spirit, uh, twin flame, love, something, something, or another, or another, okay? Um... Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. We got mermaid energy and wolf energy. Okay, Spirit, give me some energy for Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. I don't know why I'm getting root chakra activity. 
So you might want to look that up, see what's happening. Sexual energy, sexual tension, sensual are the words that I'm hearing. Um, we got a mature male out here. So a mature male. And you don't have to be masculine to be in any energy. It could be a female and masculine energy. Take it how it resonates for you. Do not put your feet in shoes that do not fit for you. So... I don't know why I'm still here. Somebody wants to be with somebody that don't want to be with them. Okay, mature male, main male. So I don't know what this is, but heavy on the men energy. Maybe somebody don't want to be friends with somebody. Or maybe somebody's not gay and somebody, okay. Somebody's trying to push off some energy that you're not trying to. Damn, and an official person. All males here. Okay, so we could be dealing with a male Virgo, an Aries Virgo, or a Pisces Vir uh, male. Pisces Virgo, that's weird. Uh, or a Pisces male. But lots of male energy running around this piece. Okay, we got pathway, expectation, high honor. There is now a female here that was expecting something. But uh, maybe expecting that you didn't know that this nigga was gay or not. Or this main male or this main, main, we got a mature male, a main male or official person. We also have an older person dealing with a younger person here type energy thing going on. Somebody is being held in high honor for their pathway. Oh, and there was a child at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be expecting a child. That could be what that was. So female expecting a baby. Meanwhile, uh, I don't know if this is a same sex relationship happening here or not. But it's males out here, okay? So take your heart resonates for you. We got nowhere yet with this reading. And it's looking a little shady. Okay. So we have the three of swords, but it was upside down. So negative self-talk, releasing pain, forgiveness, optimism, recovery, and moving on. And now I'm getting somebody talking to their father. So this could be a father-son type situation. Or this could be a uncle nephew friend friend either way somebody's having communication about their self-esteem their ego because over here we got listening to your ego so somebody has low self-esteem in this male in this situation it's all right to be alone okay so if you were afraid to be by yourself it's okay to be alone find solutions in unknown places in the darkness and rediscover your individuality become the dragon this reading sucks already. We got some. So somebody's trying to sneak away. Somebody feeling down. Somebody feeling bad. I don't even know where this is going because it's like the energy is scattered. Um, And this could be why because it's Eight of Wands energy, speed, movement, rapid action, movement, swift change, manifesting quickly, quick decisions, and air travel. And that could be an air sign traveling. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra could be traveling right now, or that could also be travel, like actual air travel, somebody on an airplane, a jet, um, betrayal, deception, getting away with something, um, acting strategically and trickery. I, I, all I hear is cover up. So something about this reading is like that. It, it's, it's not even making sense and yet. Okay. So we shall see. Spirit, give me some energy for Virgo, Aries, and Pisces, please. Because I don't even know what this is yet. It's very, very shady. I'll tell you that. 
I can tell you that right now. But somebody is held in high honor. And there's an official person here. Somebody's pathway is definitely clear. And somebody could be expecting a baby. Okay. So we got the magician. And I don't know if I want to take this upside down or not. Because literally he was like this. I flipped him like this. So he was upright when I saw him. But I know it was like this. And so he could be a little, like I said, it's shadiness. It's shady. It's the shade of it all. So first we have the queen of cups. Somebody that's very compassionate, very comforting, very calm, very nurturing, very healing, very emotionally stable, very intuitive, and very caring. Okay? <sighs> then we have the magician, very action oriented, very creative, a man great manifester. Um, somebody that's very powerful, somebody that's very self confident, somebody that's very clear, somebody that has lots of willpower, very skillful, very creative. This person also also has every skill they need to do the thing that they get done what they need to get done. But in the reverse, this person is very manipulative, has very poor planning, is has very like untapped talents, very insecure, lack of confidence, and very narcissistic, which is an energy that we're dealing with over here because we have a person that is having negative self-talk, something about their ego. Um, okay, so Queen of Cups, mature woman. A energy that is upright, stable, but we have a theme, somebody expecting something. There was some expectation, so we don't know what that is yet. We can already see, but we got a queen of swords, I mean, a king of swords energy at the bottom. Somebody that is head over heart, very disciplined, very truthful, very honest, very mentally clear, clarity, and very authoritative, authoritative. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the hell this is. Because I'm, I'm getting sneaky vibes. I'm getting love. I'm getting, and, and it's too many people already over here. I'm getting lots of male energy. Um, I'm going to just keep going because maybe it's going to come together in a nice, pretty, neat bow. But somebody's being very deceptive. Um, somebody is like I said, has very low self-esteem or is questioning themselves. Um, we have the will of fortune here, luck, karma, life cycles, destiny, turning point, change, inevitable fate, ups and downs, and something being unpredictable. So maybe this baby was unpredictable, but a baby could be an actual physical child. It could be a new business. It could be... Yeah, it could just be... Either way, karma is now here. So somebody could have been dealing with karma. Somebody wants a new beginning in a situation. I'm hearing third party, third party business. So, and it could be for this reason, but third party could just be family friends interfering. But I'm getting third party sexual. This Aries looks like a vagina. Um, that's hot. Um, Ace of Wands energy at the bottom. New projects, new inspiration, new urge to create, willpower. Um, don't ask me why, because I'm getting heavy sex on this table. Seductress, seductress vagina. Um this will vagina. So somebody's very uh lustful right now. Um we got a knight of cups energy, creativity, romance, charm, imagination, beauty, knight, knight in shining armor, following the heart, prince charming and proposals, and somebody is in love. Somebody is heavily, 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 heavily in love. But where is that energy coming from? Because I'm getting heavy sex. 
but there's lots of men on this board so i'm not getting it but we do have mermaids here so we do have women energy but we got sneaking we got crafting creating um something that is very sneaky and underhanded I'm getting official person because they keep moving and I don't know why you moving and nobody else moving from whatever's happening. Um, seeds that were planted. Sowing seeds, reaping and sowing. That's also more karma energy. Ten of cups here. Um, divine love, harmony, blissfulness, relationships, alignment, inner happiness, fulfillment, dreams coming true, family, um, family contentment, total love and support, oneness, wholeness, um, emotionally balanced, security, um, soul tribe, like all of that. Wish fulfillment at the bottom, gen energy. Um, your wish is coming true, contentment. Somebody's totally manifesting, which magician there makes sense. It's more than, like, there's energies, like, more energies. There's so many people involved in this it don't make sense but it surrounds a virgo a aries and a pisces but it's almost like there's people look this card all, always makes me feel like shedding light on a situation so somebody's observing people are absor uh, or are watching what's happening so heavily on the observation somebody's watching people are watching it's lots of people watching because there's lots of energy in this a tower Okay, sudden change, upheaval, chaos, a revelation, a disaster, an awakening, a release, a sudden insight. So that could also be somebody just gaining clarity over a situation, um, understanding the reality of something. This is not that. Um, <clears throat> somebody understanding what's happening. Like I said, lots of energy in here, so definitely chaotic. Um, we got somebody feels like they were left out in the cold at the bottom of the deck. So somebody feels like they are left being left behind, which they are because somebody's totally sneaking away and don't give a fuck. That's the energy that I'm getting because I'm hearing I don't give a fuck. Um, sex. <laughs> that's, that's the energy. It's sexual. Everything is sexual. It's love. I'm in love and I want to have sex. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I went through a bunch of bullshit. Um, I've been by myself. And yeah, I'm in love and I want to have sex. That's all I'm hearing. Um, so if somebody's in love and they want to have sex with you, okay? Virgo, Aries, Pisces. Like I said, the Aries is giving me strong sexual, but everybody's lusty. Everybody's energy is fucking horny. Um... So, new projects, inspiration, urge to create, willpower, desire, power. Somebody is projecting, 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 and more projecting. Dom I'm getting, like, literally dominatrix-type vibes. Um, seduction. Um, yeah, y'all are, y'all are having a moment. This gin energy back out here again so i don't know if somebody's um dealing with a gin somebody has major gin energy or somebody is just heavily on the you they can manifest really really well so they could be like a real live genie um don't say that so the lover's card out here love harmony relationships union partnerships sexuality passion values strong family values alignment deep love choice and strength two together oneness wholeness oneness wholeness somebody wants to be with somebody somebody loves somebody somebody is calling people in 
like heavy siren energy because we you see, you see how many mermaids we got on this place we got four mermaids over here so oh okay so the vibe that i just got is somebody's energy is heavily projecting out lusty vibes but calling people in so the energy is pulling everybody together but everybody should not be together so why is the energy because somebody's trying to be in somebody else's energy meanwhile there's an energy here that is very much siren energy like So there's a siren, a djinn, and these are energies. So if you don't know what a siren is, it's a mermaid. So it's like when they sing a song, it puts a vibe into the air. Or if a male hears it or whoever hears it, it gets stuck in their brain. And now they're under the mermaid spell. So somebody's being called in. It's a frequency an energy that is being cast out and it's putting people under a damn spell wish fulfillment but i don't know why i'm getting a feeling like i don't i don't think it's intentional the sound, the frequency, the energy is just going out. Because it's giving me the vibe of, okay, I'm just flying out here. But this is a vagina. That's what that looks like. A hot ass vagina. It's on fire. Like it's, and it could be pheromones. Like, but how the fuck is pheromones being spread like that? Because these people, some of them are not even connected. So your body is calling, your body is calling these people in. Oh my God, Lord Jesus. And then we got a, uh, 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 um, a master manifester intercepting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I am cracking the fuck up. Um, somebody's manifesting this energy. And I don't... Okay, so... How do I put this? Somebody manifested this energy. But I don't know if the manifestation of the energy triggered an activation. Meaning... Because it's somebody's soulmate twin flame. They're calling each other. But meanwhile, while they're calling each other, their energy is so big that it's attracting other people. <laughs> but one of them, one of them, if not both of them, but I think one of them majorly is very much aware and very much um trying to balance the situation because i'm getting like i'm pulling back but and that might be why that tower's there because it activated a lot of people maybe i guess and it created a problem so um two of pentacles multiple priorities time management adaptability balancing keeping the balls in the air trying to figure out how to juggle a situation or maybe this person is just in a relationship with somebody else and then they manifested the fact that hey bitch you get on my nerves so i need to manifest something that belongs to me but meanwhile you're connected to somebody or something and now your manifestation is pulling you to fuck in and you trying to figure out how to balance this but I want to go to my energy because my energy, I feel my energy. It's the same energy. Your energy is their energy. Y'all are calling each other. Meanwhile, y'all are attracting other fucking people. Okay. 
Well, y'all gonna learn how energy works. <laughs> Somebody trying to get away to calmer waters uh, type energy. Transition, change, leaving behind, releasing, releasing baggage and moving on. So the, the relationship or the situationship that they were in trying to get past that, trying to move into, this is my twin flame. This is my love. This is this person's calling me. They're calling me. The energy is calling me. It's like a seduction. Oh, I'm cracking up. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Somebody's trying to fight the connection. Meanwhile, how you gonna fight the divine? <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's it's very much like even from the beginning. It says chaotic. It's very much chaotic. So somebody's gonna feel like they are uh Okay, this, this situation can't get any worse. Um, only upwards from here. Recovery, regeneration, uh, resisting the inevitable. So somebody is basically learning that you can't resist whatever's happening. This is just happening because, I mean, how are you going to stop your body from doing the very thing that it's designed to do? It's designed to be with around this person, to connect with this person. You actually, the person actually did it because... Not liking what was there, not liking your options. Okay, so let me manifest something that belongs to me. And now you wonder why you're being sent. And somebody thinks that it's sex magic. It's not sex magic. It's just the people, the energy, they're calling each other. Look, calling each other in. So somebody was thinking that they were doing... Um, you know having sex or and somebody could have been very well doing that but um okay so we got the knight of swords energy at the bottom um capricorn aquarius energy um ambitious action oriented driven to succeed fast thinking um defending your beliefs so lots of energy rushing and energy capricorn aquarius let's see what we got libra Aquarius, more Aquarius, Pisces, water signs, air signs, Gemini, fire signs, water, water, Capricorn, air, and water. <laughs> so we don't have any earth signs out here, huh? Huh. Taurus, well, Virgo's an earth sign, so they're here. So, I don't know, but again, all I'm getting for this reading is love, sex, breakup, <laughs> unexpected delivery, so somebody got pregnant, um, juggling, this shit's all over the place and it's a lot of energy, but I'm getting twin flame connection, calling each other in, siren energy. Um, so music could be playing a very heavy, heavy, strong part in this. Um, some, yeah, they, they could potentially be doing sex magic because again, all I'm seeing is vagina. So somebody could have been doing, so somebody got hurt in a situation because this energy has been there twice. It was an upside down first and now it's right side up. So um, this is the result of a manifestation going wrong, okay? This is uh, manifesting something that you were not ready for during a time when, <laughs> look, lots of communication happening and wanting to come in um we have a queen of pentacles that is upside down so nurturing practical okay so no financially independent self-care working from home conflict self-centered jealous smothering uh, like i said a, a relationship that then went way way wrong um very codependent and we did have codependent there so somebody's running from a relationship and it could be a baby mama energy that they leave in um or is that the baby mama 
So somebody was in a relationship, you may have a child with this person. Um, either way, they want to leave. Baby mama is not liking it and creating havoc and chaos. Either way, they don't realize that, or maybe they do. They actually probably do realize that this person is trying to get to their twin flame soulmate something. And the pull on them is energetically and is strong and so we got a baby mama energy that is okay we got justice at the bottom of the deck um fairness truth clarity equality balance. so this person told them they know so they told the baby mama or significant other or ex-wife, or whatever the person is to them at this point in time. They told them about this. They can't help it. It's being a tug of war on their body, on their heart, on their mind and soul. The energies are just intertwining. And it's, again, like I said, dragging other people in and down. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening here? Um, temperance didn't come out, but it, I just wanted to make sure what it was because I felt it like wanting to shift. So, okay, let me get, let me just close this out because this is chaotic and a mess and all I'm getting is more, like I said, lots of sex, lots of, I love you. I want to be with my twin flame soulmate. They're calling me in the energy's calling in other people. Um, that was that Knight of Swords again, energy coming in quickly. The energy is just big, strong, and heavy because apparently these two people, this soulmate connection has real big energy all by themselves. So now that they are pulling each other in, this energy is huge and yeah. Okay. So we got a King of Pentacles out here and we got a Page of Swords. Uh, mm, that was a good feeling too. That was um, so young, fun, creative, new ideas, curiosity, a thirst for knowledge, new ways of communicating telepathically is what I'm getting, new ways of, um, and then for some reason I'm getting you and this person, whatever the twins do, like um, having their own little language or something, restless mental energy. So trying to communicate but I don't know why I'm, I heard, just heard block. So I don't know if somebody's trying to block the communication between you two. <coughs> or if the communication is blocked. Um, I don't know which one of y'all group is twin flame in this. But apparently y'all could have these particular signs could be dealing with their twin flame. So, or y'all could be twin flames to each other. Take it how it resonates for you. Either way, there's a king of pentacles here. Very wealthy, very business oriented, leadership, security, disciplined, abundant, uh, prosperity and generosity. Okay, so also along with this, for these two cards coming out, you guys are going to be very wealthy and this is going to be a very fun connection, loving, like I said, because I'm getting lots of love, lots of sex. So once you y'all two get together, it's like uh, lots of love, lots of sex. Lots of, lots of, lots of, a very warm, good feeling. So take it how it resonates, okay? Um, but this is what I got for y'all. And I'm sure it was all over the place, but that's just what I got, okay? Go with God.